I was in Iowa. I talked to voters there. You've been in Iowa. You've been crisscrossing the country. There are voters, according to polls and based on personal experience, of people saying no matter what, no matter the indictments, no matter anything, I will be supporting Donald Trump. So what's your message to them? How do you get what you're saying, your point across? Well, I think if, if those people that are continuing to support Donald Trump no matter what, um, they're because they're going to support Donald Trump no matter what. Uh, but they are still not the majority of Republican primary voters. Um, what always happens in elections, um, you know, things narrow. And 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 look, there's no question that Donald Trump is the front runner. There's no question that he has kind of the biggest base of support. But let's compare his support back to 2020 when he was at the height of his power. He had 98 percent of the Republican uh, primary electorate tied up that said they were going to vote for him no matter what. 98 percent. And now that number is, you know, hovers depending on where you are. Um, what state it is, you know, somewhere in the in the high 40s, sometimes in the 50s. But when we get close to an election and we see the, the field of candidates narrow, uh, I think you could actually see that in the 30s. And so that's why the, the math is on the side. That's going to require a culling of the field. Um, and that's going to require someone to continue to have uh, momentum over the next couple of weeks. And, and that's the pathway to victory for somebody like Ambassador Haley. Do you think more long shot contenders should start dropping out of the race? Well, look, I, I'm, I'm not in the business of telling people what to do. Um, I always try to lead by example. And, you know, I thought, you know, as we're going into this critical period in the campaign, if there's not clear momentum and a clear pathway and, and showing uh, a, a level of support that's being reflective in polling, then it, I think in order to ensure the GOP puts somebody up that can win in November because the country needs that kind of same conservative leadership, then I think it's time for, for us to start consolidating. And that would be my advice uh, to some of the other people that are in the race. That many are my friends and people that I think are, are, are great leaders within, within uh, the GOP.